Hey guys, it's Maria, and today I'm going to be reviewing Hell of a Boss Season 2, Episode 2. So, let's get started. The episode starts with a flashback similar to Lululand in Season 1. Stolas talks about Azathoth's tears, and he promises to see it with Octavia. We skip to the present day, which I'm kind of wondering if it's going to be a common occurrence, because twice we've seen a flashback and then we go to the present day when the episode is about Octavia. I don't mind it, I love seeing little Octavia. Also, I noticed her voice actress changed, and I honestly think this one's better, cause I just think it's cute. No offense to the previous actress. Anyways, we see an excited Octavia, which is nice to see. I like seeing her happy. But it's cut short due to Stola's forgetting, due to him fighting with Stella on the phone. This poor imp cannot catch a break. No wonder he went to Aussies, I mean, come on. Back to the story, in typical teenage fashion, Octavia runs away to see the stars herself by breaking into the IMP office while Blitz and Luna fight over her attitude problem, which I will bring up later. Octavia goes to the human world and accidentally kills Brandon Rogers. Oh, I'm sorry, Brennan Ragers. <laughs> I said it. <laughs> Um, I honestly didn't notice it at first until a friend of mine pointed it out. Oh, the way I said it though. While Octavia is trying to figure out where to go, Blitz tells Stolas, and I knew Stolas was gonna be mad, but not barge in in his full demon form mad. Anyways, they teleport to LA, Blitz comes up with a plan, and both Luna and Stolas transform into their human forms. And this is actually the first time we see Stolas in his human form, and he, he looks good. He does. We get a side story of Moxie and Millie getting stopped by street performers or artists, but it's not really that important except we finally get to hear Millie sing. Like, like that's it. I mean, we've heard her sing once, but that was with her old actress. Uh, but the song was really sweet and it was a perfect duet for Millie and Moxie. While they're distracted, well, more like Moxie's getting distracted, Stolz and Blitz are taken to a studio because Blitz is mistaken for Ragers. Blitz gets nervous because you know, we all know how he is on stage, but Stolz encourages him to do it. It doesn't start off very well, but thanks to a laugh sign, it brings Blitz's confidence up, which I found adorable yet sad because they're only laughing because they're told to. It's it's kind of bittersweet. But what I really found adorable was that Stolz was the only one who genuinely laughed at it. He has like Blitz's sense of humor, I guess. And I think it's adorable. It's it's adorable. While they're stuck doing the show, Luna tries to find Octavia by looking through his Instagram posts. Back to Blitz and Stolas, Blitz is about to give away the pug to the TV family, but is reminded on how he first met Luna. When Blitz first met her, the lady showing him around says that she wouldn't amount to anything. And I think the reason Blitz adopted Luna was because he saw himself in her. Because people thought, or demons thought, he wouldn't amount to anything either, and he didn't want her to feel how he felt which is one of the reasons why he's so protective and affectionate towards her. This flashback causes Blitz to have a panic attack and it leads to him having a delusion, thinking the pug is Luna. I know this because he called Uggy a she instead of a he. This delusion leads to a brawl and Stolz helps by throwing water at the director, which was actually acid. And funny story, when that scene happened, I was so confused. When talking with some friends discussing the scene, at first I thought maybe since Stolas is a demon, he can curse anything he touches, but that theory went down the drain when I read the background poster when they first arrived. <laughs> uh, details. The studio is now a fiery, bloody crime scene, and Blitz and Stolas finally get out of there and get a brief anime moment. And I, I mean, come on, look at this face. Look at this man's face. We get back to Octavia and we see Luna finally find her and they have a sweet heart-to-heart -heart moment. Luna is understanding and is sharing how she knows that dads can, you know, mess up, but they try. It's so sweet and what makes it even sweeter is that they both hug each other. It was a nice moment and what a lot of fans wanted to see was Luna and Octavia interact and this was an amazing first interaction. They meet back with Blitz and Stolas and of course Stolas uh, reunites with Via in a very sweet way, but what bugs me is how Blitz and Luna reunited. The guy just had a mental breakdown earlier about her, and he gets kicked in the nuts. Some people might say that's how she shows affection, but I, I think it was super unnecessary and it ruined the sentimental moment from earlier. 
Besides that, we still get another Octavian Stolas moment. And while we don't get a meteor shower, we get fireworks, which they all enjoy watching, and it was really nice. Finally, at the end of the episode, we see Moxie carrying a ton of stuff, and Millie has had it up to here with Moxie's excessive spending and carries them back into the portal. Kind of glad their relationship isn't perfect and they can get on each other's nerves sometimes. Overall, I think the episode is... It's, it's not my favorite, but it was still a good episode. I think the only major complaint I have is that Blitz and Stolas didn't mention the Aussie incident. They just act like nothing happened and I was hoping they would maybe bring it up. Uh, but maybe they're just saving it for another episode or for a later episode. Besides that, it had its moments, both funny and serious. My favorite moment was when we finally got to see how Blitz met Luna. But anyways guys, that's it for this review. Please like and subscribe, it helps my channel out. Bye guys! Brennan Ragers is what Blitz would look like if he had a human form. I will think this until canon proves otherwise.